Welcome to Reading the Bible with Pastor. Today we're on Psalm 16. And this is a good psalm for those who are sick or in the hospital. A Miktam of David. Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, You are my Lord. I have no good apart from you. As for the saints in the land, they are the excellent ones, in whom is all my delight. The sorrows of those who run after another God shall multiply. Their drink offering of blood I will not pour out, or take their names on my lips. The Lord is my chosen portion, and my cup. You hold my lot. The lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Indeed, I have a beautiful inheritance. I bless the Lord who gives me counsel. In the night also my heart instructs me. I have set the Lord always before me, because he is at my right hand. I shall not be shaken. Therefore my heart is glad, and my whole being rejoices. My flesh also dwells secure. For you will not abandon my soul to Sheol, or let your Holy One see corruption. You make known to me the paths of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Um, the beginning of this psalm, this title, Miktam of David, uh, we don't know what Miktam means, but we're pretty sure it's a... Uh, liturgical or musical term. This psalm is a good encouragement for those who are ill, and it reminds us to take uh, hold of the truth of the Lord and don't follow other people. Uh, it says in verse 3, All the saints of the land, they are the excellent ones, in whom is my delight. Saints, holy ones, those who follow the Lord and who teach and remind uh, you that your hope is in the Lord. And David says here also in the next verse that he does not seek after um, other gods or other beliefs because he knows that the only true God is God and in him is healing. And David speaks of a great healing, that of the resurrection uh, in verses 8 through 11. And Peter brings that out in his so uh, sermon after Pentecost um, where he proclaims that Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. And you can read about that in Acts chapter 2 starting at verse 24. There, Peter reminds us that we have a healing greater than all, that we have a resurrection to eternal life. Um, next time, we'll pick up with Psalm 17, and please subscribe and share this with others so that they may also read the Bible with Pastor.